Greetings. Thanks for tuning in and listening to Channel Peace if you could find it. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe if you get to the end and you like it. I can't ask you to like it beforehand because you don't know, right? <laughs> but if you get to the end and you like it, much obliged. I want to continue talking about the medical field. And I used to work in it for 30 years. So I know a lot about it. And you'll never see these doctors laying up in the hospital bed, would you? Putting on a gown that someone passed away in or laying in a bed that someone passed away in. They don't, they know what's happening there. And those who work there for a, a, any length of time, no, too. That's why I don't want to be in there. But some more things I want to point out that patient relations, they work for the institution that write their check. Just like on your job, if you go to human resources, human resources work for the company, not you. They're going to file 13, which you were talking about, and, and squash it. So patient relations work for the hospital too. They ask you to voice your concerns if you have a problem with the hospital or anything that happened and you write this detailed letter and then they turn on you. They just wanted to know where you were coming from so they can squash it and make like something was wrong with you. But no, they fucked up and but patient relations gotta work for the institution. So that's the tidbit I wanted to drop on you. And these outrageous prices that they are charging just you'll go in there for one thing and then they'll find something else wrong something else wrong and send you to this department that department and before you know it they done build the insurance company ten thousand dollars and then you got a copay of four hundred dollars and they still gave you no diagnosis they were just going back there on google and, and typing in a way and, and most of them are they getting a license from online now because that was what was happening, right? Uh, going to school online. And then Google, long time ago, they had the cliff notes. But now it's Google. And have you noticed that the doctors are leaving the field? And now they want you to see these nurses. And my argument would be with them. And they get angry with me because I said, well, if... If you're paying the same copay and they're charging the insurance company the same amount of money as they would a physician, that doesn't make sense. If she wants to be a doctor, she gets to go back to school. If you want to see a doctor, you want to see a doctor, not a nurse. But that's what's going on now. Nurses are taking over. And this online, online where you could go see a doctor online, it's the new age, I guess. I said, that's. And I can think for myself when I go in there. My mind is well equipped to, to think for myself. But what about the children that can't speak up and elderly people who are feeble-minded and don't have anyone in their family to speak up for them? Wow. Because they have ran circles around me more than thrice. They have ran circles. They have misdiagnosed me repeatedly. I'm very skeptical of them. I had a preference for African-American, which you cannot find. And then I don't trust them because, again, they work for the establishment. They work for their family. So, and then the next person, it was a, a person that has been colonized. I said, well, maybe they will understand me, but I don't trust nobody anymore. But, yeah, they send you to all these friend departments are there because they're in the cahoots. It's like a train hooked up cargo to each other. And the bottom line is the institution is getting paid. I remember the drug reps used to come through because that's who also they working for too. They have to say the right thing. They have to have a sealed lip when you go in there talking to them about the air, water, and food because they cannot. Their hands are tied. Hippocratic oath mean nothing to do no harm. They doing harm, plenty of harm. I seen it with the children, with this what's going on, and also with the, the, the genitals and everything. So 
they doing harm. I don't trust them. But they work for the pharmaceutical companies with their big bucks because I remember the parties they used to have when I was working. The uh, reps would come in. That's when you could exchange gifts. I'm going to give you this elaborate party for your residents and all. But you got to pass out this particular medication. So they stopped that now. You can't even give your favorite physician a gift. It's not allowed. But I'm going to end and come back maybe later. I, I think I had enough of this um, medical field. You know how I feel about it. But I had, before I end, I have been having problems with my ear congested. And so to make it short and sweet, they focusing, focusing on, I've been to ENT, auditory testing, um, primary care, urgent care, ER, and they don't know what's happening. And the bottom line is, I'm going to make it short and sweet again, is allergy. And so I always mention to them about the air, water, and food if something is going on. Okay? But they can't say anything. But I know. And so then they're going to flip it and make some, like something is wrong with you. But if it's allergy, where is all this allergy coming from? Everybody got allergy problem now. And, and the prices of the OTC, over-the-counter uh, drugs that you could get to alleviate this allergy, the prices have gone sky high. What's that all about? So it's the air, water, and food. But you can't even talk logic to your doctors because they got cowards. You can't say nothing. And I'm not a hypochondriac. I'm not psychotic. And I'm not thriving for attention. It's something going on with the air, water, and food. So, it is so. But, but anyway, they're going to try to focus on this thing that get got, they got going on. It's called tinnitus. Where is a ringing in the ear? Where is that coming from? That's big news now. Just like asthma used to be. And then ADHD. Every five years they got something they going on with. And they're going to ride it to death. And now it's tinnitus. A tinnitus. Whatever you want to call it. Ring it in the ear. But that's not what my problem was. My problem was it was congestion. Like a stuffy nose. And then I was constantly kind of click. And trying to equalize it. Like a... Uh, you need a PE tube, a pressure equalizer. Little children have to get it in their ear when they're constantly getting um, ear infection. And so it's coming from something that's out here. Bottom line, that's what I'm trying to say. And that's what they don't want to realize. Even if it's tonight, it's ringing in the ear. Why has everybody got that going on now, huh? So I go in there with an attitude like this because I know what I'm talking about. It's the air, water, and it's food. And they collected data. So anyway, I'm going to end with that. Thanks for uh, tuning in to Channel Peace if you can find it. And this is too long. So like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. Let me know how you feel. If you dare to even mention it. Because I don't know. This is the world we're living in. Peace if you can find it.